Remember the DNA mutating, cancer-causing, life-threatening hole in the ozone layer? But there's no doubt that CFCs are destroying the stratospheric ozone and may be endangering the planet. Well, this is the man who first warned us, and without this man, we'd be toast. In 1943, Mario Molina was born in Mexico City. His love for science was present from an early age. At 10 years old, he converted his family's unused bathroom into his personal laboratory. And by 1968, Molina was studying physical chemistry as a graduate student at UC Berkeley. During his time at Berkeley, Molina became aware of the tremendous impact science could have on society. He watched as nations weaponized chemical lasers and vowed to never do research that could be potentially harmful. In 1973, Molina started postdoctoral research at UC Irvine, where he became interested in chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, which are chemical compounds found in everyday products like aerosol sprays and air conditioners. He developed a theory that suggested CFCs were destroying the ozone layer, which protects the Earth from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. But Molina wasn't taken seriously. Convincing his peers, skeptical industrialists, and policymakers was no easy feat, and a lot of money was at stake. So Molina spent the next two decades touring the world, warning us about the dangers of a depleted ozone. But it wasn't until 1983, when multiple scientists found a literal hole above Antarctica that the world began to listen to Molina. To restrict very greatly the emission of chlorofluorocarbons to the atmosphere. Four years later, the world signed a treaty known as the Montreal Protocol, regulating the use of CFCs. Had this not happened, two-thirds of the ozone layer would have been gone by 2065. For his efforts, Mario Molina received the NASA Exceptional Scientific Achievement Award, the Nobel Prize, and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Today, at 75 years old, Molina continues to be outspoken about environmental policy, speaking regularly about the ills of climate change denial, and encourages more people of color to dedicate themselves to science.